Hello, I'm Bob Jers with United Food Service Solutions. We are the Michigan distributor for Henny Penny. We are going to go over the startup procedure for a PXC100 Velocity Series fryer. I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up. So we will do the drain pan first. I have here a cleaned out and ready to assemble drain pan. The first step is to get yourself a new filter envelope. There's a hole on one side and no hole on the other. That hole matches up with the tube on the filter screen that will go on the bottom of the drain pan. You just open up this envelope and slide the filter screen down inside so that the tube matches up in the opening. Take the extra filter envelope material on top and fold the corners down and then fold the rest of it over. We'll take one of these metal clips, I call them a giant chip clip, and this slides on to the filter screen to hold the paper in place. There are two of these, it doesn't matter which end they go on, just want the handles to match up with the tube on the filter screen. So we'll slide both of these in place, so we have both handles facing up, and then this just sits in the bottom of the drain pan. Next thing we wanna do is get our pickup tube. Take the large part, it looks kind of like a hockey puck. There's a hole in one side. This matches up with the pickup tube on the filter screen. Before we put that on, we want to make sure that we have these two O-rings in place on the filter screen. Just run your finger around, make sure there's a small amount of oil on them. Make sure they're not flattened or cracked or broken. If we don't have both of these in place, the unit will not filter the oil up as efficiently or possibly not at all. Using the pickup tube with the hole in the hockey puck, I place this straight down on the filter screen. Give it a little push to make sure it's seated. And then I like to lift the whole assembly together and line it up with this channel in the back of the filter pan. So there is a metal piece on the back of the pickup tube that fits right into this V-shaped channel back here. Push that into place, give the hockey puck another slight push to make sure we're still seated in place, and we have the filter portion of our pan put together. The next thing we put in is our crumb catcher. This has been scraped out and cleaned out. This doesn't have to be perfect. We want to get the majority of the crumb out of it. The um, Pot scraper works really well for this and we'll go over that when we talk about cleaning. If this is really dirty, it can be washed. Uh, I, if it's not too bad, I don't typically wash it because it's got lots of small holes in it that hold water. And as we know, oil and water don't mix well together. This sits down into the drain pan. There's no specific spot for it to sit. Anywhere in here is fine and it will work the same. The next step is to put the lid on to the filter pan. On the lid, we have a slot here that matches up with the pickup tube on this end of the filter pan. This is sharp, it's not cut you sharp, but it has got uh, edges that can damage these O-rings. So we just wanna be a little bit careful when we put this in place that we're not damaging those O-rings. Before we slide it back into place, there's three more O-rings here we wanna check. Again, make sure there's a small amount of oil on them, make sure they're not flattened or cracked or missing. And again, if we are missing any of these, it's not going to filter efficiently or possibly at all. Now we're gonna insert this into the fryer. When I get down to the ground level, there are two rails here, and I'll show you where those are gonna match up on the fryer to slide into place. So now I've got the drain pan back on the floor. Just as a side note, you don't have to assemble it on a table. I did that for demonstration purposes. Like I said, up on the table, there's two rails on either side of the drain pan. They match up with the spots on the frame that you can see angled here. This is on caster, so it rolls nicely on the floor. You just line up with the frame and slide this into place until it clicks into place. That's all there is to cleaning out the drain pan. We wanna make sure that's done every day. It's important to keep a clean filter paper in there to prolong the life of our oil. And also if you allow it to get too full of crumb and debris, it will clog and again, it will not pump properly.